Hi, and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer Power. I'm Deidre Banks. Today, we're praying to love others, to love others. You know, Colossians 3 and 14 says, above all, clothe yourselves with love. I just love the image of that. Imagine clothing yourself with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. So imagine a a giant cloak that's encompassing all of us, and that cloak is love, and it's binding us all together. So we want to love other people. We're commanded to love. It's not just a suggestion. We're commanded that we would be motivated by love and that we would do everything motivated by love. Matthew 5, 43 through 48 tells us to love our enemies because if we just love who those who love us, that's what the hypocrites do, the heathen do, but we are called to do more. Let's read this, Matthew 5, 43 through 48. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, Wow. Do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. So we're sons of God by what? Loving those who spitefully use us, who persecute us. We love them. We're children of God. We're sons of God. For he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what word have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what do more, what you do, excuse me, what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do so. Therefore, you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect. We want to love like he loves. And loving means that we don't just love those who love us or those who do right by us, but also those who persecute us, those who spitefully use us, those who really try to take us out, but to love them anyways. And there's a great reward for that, for doing the will of the Father, for loving like he loves. And love feels good when you love other people, when you turn the other cheek, when you do kind to them. The flesh wrestles against it, but truthfully, your spirit rejoices. Your spirit wants to do the right thing. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So we want to sow to the spirit. We want to honor God and love all people, despite what they've done to us. You know, when we're standing in the need of justice in situations, it can be tempting to not forgive others, can be tempting to act like the enemy, but we don't want to do those things because it blocks the justice, it blocks the vindication, it blocks God's stepping in because if we act like the enemy if we join forces with the devil we're not sowing to the spirit we're not doing what god has asked us to do and we're not going to see those rewards that we want to see so we need to forgive we need to let god come in and vindicate us to bring justice and to love them because truthfully there's something in them that is causing that and any of us could make these same mistakes so we want to be forgiving we want to be kind we want to be merciful so we can receive mercy we want to be compassionate tender-hearted amen because there's a great reward and by letting it go and letting god vindicate us there's a greater reward than if we try and do it ourselves so let's love them on today let's love others and let's pray we need god's help to help us to love like he loves on the cross he said Forgive them, Lord. They do not know what they do. And we want to be that kind of loving towards other people that we can say, forgive them, Lord. They don't know what they're doing. Well, you have me in the palm of your hand. I'm okay. I'm forgiven. I forgive them and you've forgiven me. And so this is well. It's going to work out for my good. What the enemy meant for evil, God is working out for my good. But let's pray today to love others. Amen. That's how the world will know that we're his disciples, that we have a love for one another. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we bless you. We exalt your name on high. You're a good God who's full of love. You are love. You're kind. You're patient. You're flowing with mercies and tender kindness. You're tender hearted. We thank you, Lord, that there's no bad in you. You're only good. There's no wickedness in you, no darkness. Where you are, there's only light. And we thank you that you've shown us how to love through your word, through your Holy Spirit. And you're telling us on today to love like you love, to love our neighbor and to love those that have persecuted us, that love those that have come against us. Help us, Lord, to love all people as you love them. You created them fearfully and wonderfully made. Help us to love them like you love them, not to uh, to turn a blind eye to those who have harmed us, but to love them, not to shun them, but to love them. 
not to treat them meanly, but to love them for that softens them. Lord, kindness leads them to repentance. And we ask you, Lord, to help us in this. We need your strength to love them like you love them, to turn aside, uh, not to persecute them back, not to treat them wrongly. We bless those that have spitefully used us. We bless those that have persecuted us. And we ask you, Lord, to bless them. We ask you, Lord, to protect them from all harm. Lord, we ask you to give us the strength and the power as we rest in you. Help us to clothe ourselves with love. Help us to put on love, that we would be cloaked with zeal, that we would be cloaked with your armor, that we would love with a a supernatural strength, with a peace that surpasses all understanding, knowing that you have us in the palm of your hand, that we need not worry. We don't even need to be anxious for anything because you have us. You're going to make every crooked way straight. You're going to lead us beside still water. So we ask you on today, Lord, to bless those who come against us to help us to be compassionate and tender-hearted and gentle as you are gentle fill us up with your holy spirit overflowing that we may bear the fruits of repentance that we may bear the fruits and the character of you that we will resemble you that we will look in the mirror we see you help us lord transform us in the image of your glory help us to look like you look and walk like you walk Help us to speak life to others, to encourage them. We decree and declare that we are glory carriers, that we are people who are loving our enemies as ourselves. We are loving those who persecuted. We're loving those who have come against us. And we're laying all the things at your feet. We're not offended. We're not carrying any ill will. We're not carrying on forgiveness. We've laid it down and we bless them, Lord. We release it. We release the pain unto you and we ask you to heal it. We release every offense that we carried. We release every source of pain and unforgiveness. And we repent. We ask you to forgive us for being unforgiving. Forgive us for holding on to these painful memories. Forgive us, Lord, for holding on to revenge. We know that you are our avenger and you're merciful. We ask for mercy for those that have come against us. And we thank you, Lord, that you're working it out for our good. You're working all things together for good. Everything is coming together with the enemy meant for evil you're working out for our good we love them lord we love all people and we thank you father god that you are exalting us at the right time you're preparing us for greater our character is being refined it's being tested so you can bring out those things that need to be removed our character is being tested so that we can ascend to the holy hill with clean hands and a pure heart our character is being tested so we can go higher we can go further we can go deeper we can go longer so we thank you lord that we are rising that it is time to ascend. It's time to go higher. It's time to lay down every snare. And we thank you, Lord, that we are coming together in holy matrimony with the bridegroom. We thank you, Lord, that we are going deeper. It's time to go higher, people of God. And God is taking us to new heights, new depths in him. We're going deeper. We're going further. It's time to to, to lay aside these things because we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere powerful. We're going into revival fire. We're going into new wells of revival. We're going into deeper depths. We're going somewhere in Christ Jesus. And we're not turning back. We're not going back. We're not shrinking back. We are going further and God has taken us higher now. So let us surrender everything to you, Lord. Let us lay aside. Let us continue to press in. You are so worth it. You are a mighty God, a victorious God. And we're grateful for you on today. Give us more of your love. You see through the eyes of love. And so we ask you, Lord, to help us to see others through the lies of love, not through the eyes of what they've done. Because love keeps no record of wrongs. Love is patient. Love is kind. It bears all things, hopes all things, endures all things. We thank you, Lord, that love does not dishonor others. It is not proud. It doesn't boast. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness and and that you are love. And so we want to be love. Because the things that remain, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. And so we want your love to abound in our lives, abound in our families, abound in our jobs, abound in our communities, through us, because we're to be love carriers. So help people to see us and see love, to see us and see the glory of God upon our lives, to see us and see something that they desire because the love of God is within us. Help us, Lord. We can't do it without you, but we ask you to take us higher in love, to be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, to stand there for. Help us, Lord, to press, to keep pressing, to keep pressing. And to forgive, to keep forgiving, to be quick to forgive. In Jesus' name, 
I thank you guys for joining with us. Allow God to use you as a love carrier, that you would be able to walk in his love and his divine favor, and that you would shed a lot of regret in your heart to others, that they would be around you. Be like, oh, there's just so much love from this person, so much uh, uh, a pure love, not a love that, that that's like the world's love where it's trying to get something, but no, a pure love that comes from Jesus Christ, a love that can't be quenched, a love that the devil can't stomp out, a love that's going to abide in all things in all times because it's the love that God gave to us and the devil can't take it away so be love on today and look for opportunities to show love to others and to serve be blessed